we're learning more about the third victim in Monday's bombings at the Boston Marathon. She's been identified as a girl from China in this country as a student. Her name has not been released. Three people died and nearly 200 people were injured in those bombings. Here's the latest information. Officials say 100 of the injured people have been released from the hospitals so far. And investigators have found the lid of a pressure cooker on a roof near the scene of one of those bombings. They believe that pressure cooker may have been part of one of the bombings. So far, there are no suspects, and Randall Pinkston is live in Boston with the latest. Randall? The FBI says the investigation is still wide open, but they are making progress. The slow, methodical screening of video from the crime scene is yielding important clues. FBI photos from the Boston Marathon bombing investigation show the remains of an explosive device, including twisted pieces of metal, charred wires, and a battery. One photo shows a half-inch nail and part of a zipper stained with blood. There are also photos of a bent metal lid with bolts. The items are now being analyzed at FBI headquarters in Virginia. There, specialized examiners will reconstruct the device or devices and determine its makeup and components. Investigators say the crudely designed bombs were heavy and carried to the scene in black nylon bags. They were pressure cooker bombs packed with shrapnel. The lid of one apparently blew onto the roof of a nearby building. Similar devices have been used in Middle East terrorist attacks. The pressure cookers briefly constrain the blast and when the pressure is released, they can send heavy pieces of metal flying through the air. Sources tell CBS News investigators are also looking at photos taken before the bombings showing individuals carrying dark colored bags near the bomb site. They're trying to determine if one of those people could be the bomber. Three people were killed and more than 170 injured in the blast. This morning, doctors at Boston Medical Center said they performed amputations on five victims. They have also been removing debris from victims. We've taken out large quantities of, of, of pieces of things. Some are metal, some are plastic, some are wood, some are concrete. President Obama will be in Boston tomorrow to attend a memorial service for the victims. This morning, the identity of the third fatality was released. She is Li Ling Zhe, a graduate student at Boston University. She was from Shenyang, China. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Randall Pinkston. Back to you.